Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, I'm going to be playing another fun deck. This one is the Spell Damage Mage. And right now, I'm just going to go through the deck list and why I put in each card. And if you want to skip, I've put a timestamp in the description. So, uh, Arcane Missiles. Random is always fun, first off, most of the time, unless you get bad luck. So we've got Arcane Missiles, 3 damage randomly. That pretty much explains that. We have Mana Worm, which is a 1 mana creature, which I kind of needed in the deck, and also benefits from the high amount of spells in the deck. So if you uh, were going for more combo and you had a Mana Worm on the board, playing the spells for lethal and then getting the Mana Worm buffed up would be pretty nice. Frostbolt. Nice early removal and can also help with lethal later on if you want. Unstable Portal. Well, Unstable Portal is just probably the most fun card in the game. So it has to go in a mage <laughs> fun deck. Uh, Blood Mage, Cycle the Deck and Spell Damage. Which is basically what this deck's about, if you didn't guess that already. Uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice lowers the cost of the spells. So if you were going for lethal with uh, like fireballs and uh, Rowan Torches. It would lower the cost so you could play them all on one turn. Am I saying that right? Yeah, you could play two Rowan Torches and two Fireballs. And then we have the Forgotten Torch. It's basically nice early removal and then filters a uh, larger card into your deck that you can use for lethal later on. And the Sorcerer's Apprentice lowers the cost of uh, Forgotten Torch if you play them one after another, so it basically becomes a uh, frostbolt, which is nice because it also gives you the Roaring Torch. Flame Waker, randomness, but it's also a really overpowered card, so if you were doing this for uh, competitive reasons, you would definitely put in a Flame Waker. It's a 3-drop, and I thought it would uh, fit the deck nicely with a large amount of spells, and you can also use it for lethal. So if you had uh, the enemy had a clear board and you had loads of spells, just face them all and then Flame Waker. Spell Slinger. Random again. And you get spells, enemy gets spells, but your spells will be better in this deck because spell damage. So, well, I guess unless you had a spell that wasn't damage based. But apart from that, it's a pretty good card. A three mana, three four has always like, been pretty good like stat wise and then it has the rattle cry and mage can utilize that with like mana worms and sorcerer's apprentice so that's nice fireball pretty self-explanatory lethal or removal dalaran aspirant now this has been a really fun card in this deck so it's like i know you have to play it and then it requires inspire after inspire but if you were, were to play this and then like you had cards like spell slinger that you could play or it gave you spells, then you end up using your hero power quite a bit. And most of the time, yeah, it will give you just the one spell damage. But I had a game once where it got up to like 10, I think it was, or 9, because uh, the fireball cost 20 and I also had Malagos out. So a 20 damage fireball. That's pretty overpowered, <laughs> and the Dalaran Aspirant is a really nice card in this deck, and it makes it that whole much more fun. Antique Killbot, you need more of a survivability in this deck. I've noticed that in a few games that I played, you ended up dying quite quickly if you went up against a face deck because there isn't much to keep you alive. So I decided to put in one Antique Killbot for that. As your Drake, uh, spell damage and card draw just like uh, blood mage and it's also a nice body it it holds up well with the uh, spell damage so you can keep it on the ball for a while then we have ethereal chondra now yeah i know the stat line isn't very good for this but the actual ability is really good because i've noticed i've been in certain situations like almost dying in the game and i just need to survive another turn to win and it ends up giving me ice block so that's quite a nice thing it can do or give you like polymorph and the thing is it's discover so you can choose them and i also thought it was kind of 
a good idea to put in a uh, Lever Explorers card, seeing as this is around the Lever Explorers time, the same as the Forgotten Torch. So, Emperor Tharsam. Really, really nice card. Basically, everybody should know that because it's been in a lot of decks. But in this deck, it's just like the Sorcerer's Apprentice, lowering spells. You can also lower Malagos if you want to go for the... Uh, or Dalaran if you want to go for the lethal with uh, extra spells, whatever. Flame Strike, ball clear, and Malagos helps with uh, spell damage and lethal, as I've said. So that's the deck. I wouldn't say it's the most competitive deck. There is a few cards you could switch out if you wanted to make it more competitive. But in general, I've had about a 60% win rate, I'd say. So it's still quite a nice deck. Let's go. Jaina! Versus Thrall! I'm a doom hammer. You asked for it. A Thrall on the ladder. I do know there was a battle cry shaman that sort of worked. I tried to make my own. I'm not sure how many other people used it, but it could always be totem. Totem is fun. Although, it wouldn't be very nice for me right now. Because of the amount of spells I have to trigger this. Okay. It's meh. I'm going to do this just because of sheer value. I know there is, like, a pretty major problem with uh, my curve right now because I have a a 3-mana Firewall, which is most likely not going to get used. So I'll have to wait until next turn to... Okay, never mind. Negating that's pretty useful because I've noticed... Later on in games, if your mana worm gets over the top, people end up having to trade crazy amounts to actually get rid of it. I'm not entirely sure what kind of deck this is, like Iron Beacon Whirling. I wonder. I know there was one deck that tried to kill you within like four turns. There's also the Malagos Shaman, but that was like did you bring some fish? Not the greatest. Okay, he has Rock Biter. Or Lightning Bolt. I thought because he was bringing it out, it was going to be Rock Biter. And I know a lot. Yeah, I don't value my uh, Flame Waker that high. Like right now, if he was to... Yeah, I don't really care about that. But however, I do value this guy quite a lot. Right now, I have like no hand. But I guess the good news is neither does he. Well, he just got three cards. It's Mech Shaman, isn't it? I haven't actually seen that a lot. I'm not sure if there's a reason for that. Well, I haven't seen shamans in uh, constructed for a while. Not the most favorable trade. It's what I'm going to have to make if I want to play Tharasan. So, here's where you're wrong. So, now I have a... Tharasan on the board, which is probably going to be easy to remove. I've noticed he has um, lightning bolts and stuff. But the good thing here is I've lowered down the cost of both fireballs. So if I was to find, like, his Sorcerer's Apprentice... Hex. Okay. He 
seems to be running out of cards. Do I risk playing this? Hoping for the fact that it will actually get a spell. I think I have to use the flame strike here. Yeah, I don't really think I had another choice. Playing this and not getting the spell would have resulted in total tragedy against the barber. There but right now, it's like... Here. Well, that's nice, unless it's the other way around 3 1. Because I can play this and Fireball. You I'll see what I get it. because I could also I got it. hopefully get something better. Ice Block, Counter Spell. I think Counter Spell might be better. Because my health's like not really a problem right now. It's strange, he's got a mix of Totem and Mech. Got a bit of a problem here. I can Sorcerer's Apprentice Fireball. I think I'm gonna have to. Sorcerer's Apprentice Fireball, Counter Spell, and then just fire at one of them. Because I couldn't play Malagos there without it dying. Malagos, and then I have to hope for the spells as well. That's another concern. I'll do this because he's probably just going to go straight in face. And it's best to ping that one because if he trades that into that, he still has to trade that. But if he wants to kill it another way by trading that one and me totem, then that's still at one. Probably should have played that on that side. Mm, that's nice. Probably want to remove that one actually. Here's where you're wrong. Bit low on cards right now. Boom. <laughs> Taunt's fine. He's only threatening three damage. Although I'm gonna need to remove some of those totems before. Oh, that's nice. Let's just hope there's no light. Like, Hex here. Because Malagos is really strong to have right now. Okay. How much? That's one thing that I feel like they should actually include with the Dado and Aspirant is shows how much oh. shows how much spell damage it has because I noticed that sometimes. <laughs> You actually have a certain amount, but it only ends up showing you one. So I guess you have to judge by the amount of damage your spells do. This is going to be a close game. 
That fire elemental pushed him ahead a lot. I have ball control right now, which is a big advantage. I have card draw, technically, as well. There is a lot at stake here. Okay, that's a nice one for me. Please be a spell. Please no healing wave. I went for face instead of ball control there. I might have been a problem. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I couldn't have killed them. My shield for Argus. Ethereal Conjurer. You want it? I got it. Flame Cannon. Oh, I have to go with this though. Gaining that ball control. I think I actually I think I have to go. Well played. Well played. Let's just see what, what? random spells we can get. Well played. Deal five damage. You want it? I got it. Pyroblast. I'll get him. GG. What was a fun game. That's a nice wacky spell. Alright, well then, thanks for watching, I will have the deck list in the description as always, or you could just go back to the start of the video where I showed it off there. So thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe, thanks in advance, I'll speak to you all next time.